You're watching ABC4 News, celebrating 75 years. In Northern Utah now, search and rescue crews rescue a pilot who crashed near Highway 39. This happened last night along the Rich and Weber County border in the Monte Cristo area, and heavy snowfall up in the mountains delayed the search, but eventually a helicopter was able to find the pilot, 41-year-old Alyssa McCauley of Oregon, in the downed plane. McCauley says she had just taken off from an airport in Evanston when the weather started causing issues and she eventually started to lose altitude. The plane was largely intact and she texted her family family and friends from the ground. She was taken to the hospital with minor injuries. In a national weather alert, severe weather causing significant damage across southeast Texas. A massive tornado tearing through the Houston metro region overnight. At least one person injured in Pasadena, Texas. And now that same system is headed east, bringing the potential for more severe weather to the south today. ABC's Morgan Norwood has more. The southeast now bracing for a brush with the same severe weather system that left this trail of tornado damage across Texas. All we saw was glass and the window blew out. In Pasadena, Texas, just outside of Houston, a tornado peeling the roofs off these homes and businesses. I was just spraying and we were all hunkered down together, but glass was flying. A local CrossFit owner gathering his customers to safety in the gym's bathroom as a tornado closed in. The scariest thing I've ever seen. We had an overhead door right here. That it blew off. Panic in nearby Deer Park, Texas, where that same tornado continued its rampage. It just got black and then you could hear it. I mean, it just sounded like a loud rushing. Winds toppling several tractor trailers on the beltway around Houston. Drivers wading through flooded streets and a gas line rupturing, causing a fire to break out in Baytown. Meanwhile, the northern side of the system wreaking havoc on the morning commute in the Midwest, with Indianapolis to Cleveland seeing multiple inches of snow in some areas. And much of that snow will be spreading into Pennsylvania, upstate New York, and interior New England later today. I'm Morgan Norwood, ABC News, New York. Time now for Utah's most accurate forecast with Nate Larson. Weather rates certified 11 years in a row. We're avoiding all that severe weather, but we're getting plenty of snow around here. Yes, we are, Nate. We'll send it over to you. Yeah, in fact, I expect we'll have some uh, winter-related alerts issued for our mountain areas heading into Friday's storm system. Right now, it's pretty quiet across the Beehive State. We have the clouds. This is Hiram Dam up in the uh, Cache Valley area. We've got clouds that have been sticking around, some light snowflakes. We've had a few inches of snow across a lot of our mountain areas, uh, even here in the Wasatch Front, several inches of moisture. Let's show you some of the snowfall totals uh, that are being reported. So we had a weak system move by yesterday evening, ended up producing very significant snow ratio totals. So Typically, we get about 10 inches, maybe 12 inches of snowfall with an inch of moisture. We had uh, very small moisture or precipitation amounts fall in, but uh, because of how cold it's been, it was a ratio of more like 25 to 1, so 25 inches of snow to an inch of uh, moisture. So Alta, 9 inches of snowfall. Brighton, 4, along with Cherry Peak. Powder Mountain, 3, 2 inches at Park City Mountain. We've had 5 inches uh, at Highland being reported. Pleasant View, 4 inches. So Logan, 2.5. Salt Lake, the airport, had 7 hundredths of an inch but almost two inches of snow reported with what moisture that did fall. We had some fog this morning, expecting patchy fog again Thursday morning as you're heading out and about, if not some of those low-level stratus clouds that are formed up against the mountain areas. T uh, bitter cold temperatures are continuing, especially cold in the southwest corner of the state with some wind chill values in addition to the very cold actual temperatures for areas like Zion National Park, Bryce Canyon, and wind chills sh should be in the teens, if not 20s, for areas like St. George tomorrow morning. More snow moving in this weekend after the snow that we have uh, expected for Friday moves out. That system again should pack a decent punch for the mountain areas. Let's kind of walk you through some of the timing. So northerly flow, some light snow showers possible even this evening, even down to the valley floors. This next system will move in, bringing snow to the mountain areas. This is Friday. This model is showing Friday afternoon and evening. Other models bump up the timing a little earlier on Friday. Could even impact Friday morning's commute. So we'll kind of be watching that. This one could bring a few inches of snow to the mountain areas. It zips or the valleys as well, several inches to the mountains, about six to twelve, and then a larger trough will slide down into Sunday and Monday, bringing widespread changes to the Beehive State. All areas should see rain and snow, with again snow up north with the uh, colder temperatures, a rain snow mix for areas like St. George. Again, future cast showing that generally with the snow that's going to be moving in, that darker blue shade, if not almost purple, is the 6 to almost 12 inches, possibly 12 to 15 inches in some of the highest peaks as we get into Saturday. And I mentioned the cold temperatures down across the southwest corner are going to be bitterly cold with the wind chill or the feels like temperature. 
temperatures in the single digits, if not uh, teens for Cedar City, in the 20s for St. George, teens for Lake Powell. Just very cold conditions across the board. And tomorrow with some breezy winds, 30 or 45 for the high, 49 on Friday. Mentioned some rain snow showers that will arrive on Monday or late Sunday into Monday. Temperatures are dropping with highs just near 40 degrees. Excuse me, let me back that up. If the graphics are going to play nicely, there's the Wasatch Front. We've got temperatures again that are staying very cold today, tomorrow, mid to upper or mid to low 30s. Should be in the upper 30s for the weekend. Some snow showers often on Friday, again Saturday. Better chance Sunday into Monday. Look how cold we are. Just 22, uh, 22. For high on Tuesday. Ooh. Really cold blast Brutal. of Arctic air coming in from the north early next week. You want to know a mm. secret? I have some food that's supposed to be in the freezer that I have to take to my mom. Stuck it outside. It's just in my car. I'm like, it can stay there doesn't for the next Doesn't even few need days. to be in the freezer. No yeah. worries. I did that the other day. Got some groceries, didn't have time to put them away. Put them on the back porch. Yep. There you go. There you go. Thank you, Mother Nature. <laughs> yep.